everybody here knows I'm a huge fan of Air and their Tech Pack series. A few months back, I reviewed the Tech Pack 2 and I actually asked if they would send me out a Travel Pack 2 as well to test and review. Well, today is that day. I've had this thing for quite a few months, so I'm gonna be sharing some of the pros and cons and an overview of the design and features and uh, whether or not I would actually recommend this bag for all of you. All right, so going over some of the basic specs and features, this is a 33 liter capacity bag. They do also have a smaller one available, although I would probably recommend sticking with the tech pack or the day pack in lieu of getting a smaller version, but always depends on your needs, of course. But the 33 liter capacity is a really nice kind of compact feel and size compared to a lot of other travel backpacks. It's not gonna be super cumbersome. You know, I would argue that you might even be able to take this around as a daily carry backpack if you have a lot to carry to work. You know, if you're someone like me that used to go on public transit all day, every day, had to carry a whole video studio with them, you know, something like this would be a pretty reasonable carry. It's a 900D nylon exterior. You have full YKK zippers. Those feel great. You have an AquaGuard seal on the laptop compartment, which works really, really well. I took this thing out on a few rain tests and you were definitely getting some leakage and heavy rain into the front compartments, but the back compartment with that seal stayed really, really well. I do wish that they had those seals across the board on everything. I would have been much happier, especially lately I've been testing and reviewing a lot of waterproof or near waterproof backpacks. So if I was going to an area that would have extended heavy rain or if I'm going to be out in rain, I would probably look to the packed backpack or get a rain cover for this thing. But if you're just going out for short trips, if you're gonna mostly be in the car, in the train, on a plane, you're gonna be okay for a few minutes. As always with most of the bags I review on the channel, really nice, sleek, minimal aesthetic, uh, really minimal branding on here. You just have the One Air logo, which is uh, right here, and then you have the nice branded zippers as well. But just the single logo, nice and understated, just like I like. I got the Heather Gray version. Uh, they do also have a full black on black version. I have a water bottle holder here, which uh, just barely fits the Hydro <laughs> Flask. I will say this is a snug fit to the point where I would probably be getting annoyed with uh, putting this in and out. I am testing and trying a few other water bottles, so if you have any recommendations, leave me one down below. Maybe a long, skinny one. A uh, nice thing with this water bottle holder, though, is it does zip up and kind of has a nice lay flat design. Uh, not elastic, but you have that zipper. I think it gives it a little more of a formal look. Overall, it's a very sleek design and um, definitely more of that sort of upscale, polished sort of look. You know, the uh, the packed backpack that just came out recently is uh, kind of a similar field and similar range for customer base. I'd say this one has a little bit more of a refined look, a little bit smaller, more compact in comparison. Also a smaller capacity. Um, um, but yeah, this one's just kind of a little bit more polished, but not quite the same feel and durability. You do have these compression straps on uh, all four sides. I think the look of these is really nice. Uh, one little gripe that I did have with them, you know, when you're getting into the main full body compartment, which we'll get into in a minute, you, know, you are gonna have to undo these every time, which can be a little annoying. But I will say, you know, in the real world, you're not really going to be accessing that main compartment very often. And I think the trade-off is worth it for the extra aesthetic and functional benefits. You know, being able to compress this makes it work really well as a day pack during your travels. You know, if you wanna leave some stuff back at your Airbnb and hotel, take this thing out with you. You can compress it down and it goes with a really nice flat sort of look. So I really like that about it. And then also too, if you have a jacket or a tripod if you're a photographer or videographer like me, you can kind of use these to carry some extra items if you want to. So a little annoying to get in the main compartment, but they did a really good job of organizing and laying this thing out where you don't need to get in there in any sort of quick access situation. Uh, moving around from there, you do have a luggage pass-through. 
if you are someone that still carries a roller bag in addition to your backpack. And uh, showing up on the bottom here, you have a shoe compartment, which is really nice. I'm not someone, <laughs> I haven't used this shoe compartment before. Move that silica gel out of the way. Um, but yeah, so you do have this compartment here. I don't really pack extra shoes with me, but if that's something that's important to you, it's there. Uh, for someone like me that doesn't use it, it's not really in the way. So win-win for everybody. Going on for the front here, you have just a really basic um, open compartment, no organization in here. This is the perfect kind of snack compartment in my eyes. You know, you're reaching for a snack when you're on a plane or a car ride. And then up at the top here, you have a a, uh, a nice quick access kind of sunglass holder. There's not any sort of soft lining in here for glasses, if that's something that matters to you, but I just keep quick access sort of stuff here. My AirPods, uh, mask. I don't like keeping passports and stuff like that in those pockets just for security purposes. I like to have them a little bit more tucked away than that. And then from there, you have some really nice wide straps. Uh, the comfort of the Tech Pack and the Tech Pack 2 has definitely carried over to this design. I think a lot of it has to do with these really wide, sturdy straps that they give you. Um, very, very comfortable. The Air Backpacks continue to be one of the most comfortable bags I wear out of all the ones I test and review. Definitely top rated in the comfort department. You do also have a removable chest strap. I don't really like using chest straps, so I took it off. Uh, it is also nice that the connectors completely come off on here too. Nothing's worse than having extra dangly stuff that you're not using. So that's about it for the exteriors. Getting into the pockets, I'll give you a brief run through here. This is going to be kind of a main tech organizer area. Then you have the main big storage compartment and then you have the laptop area. Getting into that kind of quick access tech sort of area, very similar layout to the Tech Pack and the Day Pack, if you're familiar with either of those. Um, you have a nice big flat compartment here for something like an iPad or a Kindle, um, you know, wallet, phone, just some basic pockets here. You know, you can definitely keep a MacBook charger or something here. I have a tech pouch from Moment. Uh, fits really nicely in here without being too snug or uh, in the way or anything like that. You have a nice zipper here to be able to keep some charging cables organized and accessible but out of the way. Towards the back you have a very big laptop compartment. I think you would be pretty okay to fit the new 16 inch MacBooks. I have a 15 inch and it fits perfectly fine in here. You also have some extra space. I do like to tuck my rain shell jacket in with the laptop compartment for the air backpacks. I feel like it adds some extra lumbar support, makes it even more comfortable. One last thing on the outside, you have a really nice, big, sturdy top handle and a side handle. Um, great if you want to hold it in kind of briefcase mode or you're needing to pick it up. Uh, so getting into the main compartment, this is where it's just resorting back to that nice, simple, open bag design. You know, you have all of your quick access type of areas very well covered in that front pouch, in this snack pouch in the front. You have your water bottle holder, laptop if you need to grab that really quick. And this will be kind of where you keep all of your clothes, your toiletries, the stuff that you're not going to be using while you're in transit. You know, you get to your hotel, you get to your Airbnb, get this thing opened up and uh, go from there. So nice big design, let me I'll just hit the microphone there. You have a ton of space here. And uh, on this side, I don't really use this sort of stuff, but it's not really getting in my way. You have a couple of zipper compartments, one mesh, one solid. Really great if uh, you know you want to, if you don't have any sort of toiletry organizer, or you want to put socks and underwear in there or something. Um, in here, I have uh, <laughs> a bit of cat hair. Uh, Wolfie loves checking out all these bags when I'm testing and reviewing them, uh, especially during the unboxings. He's always around to inspect. Uh, I have a really big camera cube from Moment in here. You know, you could also, this is where the shoes would normally go. So, um, you know, if you have shoes in there, it is going to take up some of the space in the main compartment, but this just kind of tucks away really nicely and doesn't get in the way. Um, this could also be good if you want to keep like dirty or wet clothes away from everything else in your backpack. It's probably what I'll end up using this for, but I've got just a big camera cube here. 
This holds like three lenses and a camera. Uh, and then I have a couple of packing cubes and my toiletry kit. Really straightforward, but it, it does fit everything very nicely. You know, I don't pack out my bags super heavy. I like to make it as easy as possible on my back, uh, especially I like walking around a lot when I'm in different cities and I'm exploring around. And if I do have to take this stuff with me, I wanna make sure it's light enough where I'm not miserable during the whole day. Uh, so you could fit quite a bit more than I have here, especially with the compression straps. This would hold probably, you know, double the amount of packing cubes if you really wanted, but just a really nice, big open compartment. Uh, these types of bags are great for me because sometimes I need more of a bag focused on photography and video gear, or sometimes, you know, I need to wear a suit if I'm going home uh, to Michigan for a special occasion with my family, or, you know, lots of different variables. So this is gonna be a pretty versatile bag, especially for someone that's creative and carries a little bit more tech generally. One other thing with this, it's not quite a sit flat sort of design. You know, I can kind of get it to stay on its own if I uh, really mash it down for this video here, but uh, it's not going to sit flat very easily. Now, if you're looking for a really large capacity bag to take on a day-to-day -day basis, this could be a really good fit for you. Or if you're a really light traveler, you know, a business traveler, I think this has that more refined look that most people are, are going to appreciate and enjoy. Uh, it comes in at 230 bucks, which is a completely reasonable price point for a bag of this quality. You know, a lot of times you're seeing $300 plus for some of these high-end bags. Uh, definitely a lot of value and attention to detail with something like this. I would have loved to have seen AquaGuard zips all around. You know, these can be a little annoying at times, but generally um, really, really happy and impressed with this bag. This would be the perfect bag for a lot of you, I think. Uh, so let me know down in the comments, uh, what bag are you using on your travels? When do you think we're gonna be able to travel freely again? Slowly losing my mind little by little staying in the apartment for so long this year, but thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next one.